After spending an amazing week in Qingdao, China, it was time to head to Qingdao North train station and catch the high-speed rail to Beijing. The easiest way to get to the train station from your accommodation in Qingdao is to book a car through Didi. Okay, so we've cleared security here at Qingdao North Airport. You've got to go through like an aeroplane, have your bags scanned, had some deodorant taken off us because it's aerosol. So yeah, so we've got a big board of departures here. Our train will be on there going to Beijing. We're about to get our first look at the size of this train station. Looked massive from outside, so I'm sure it's going to look huge from the inside. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Welcome to Chindao North train station. Okay, Qingdao North train station is on the northern edge of the city, obviously, so uh, it's not as packed as the main train station in Qingdao, but gee, it's big. Um, we've been to a few big train stations in China. Xi'an was huge, Chengdu was huge, but this is also very big, and they all seem to follow the same sort of design. It is a big square building with elevated platforms around the outside where they sell food and such, so... Let's go and take a bit of a look around. Okay, this is where we came in, over here, near the big platform board over there. So, plenty of vending machines. Let's go and have a look around the outside here. Plenty of food options. This is where you check in to go to your platform, obviously. So there's a lot of gates. This is 13A, I'm not sure where it starts. 13B over there, so... There is at least, at that rate, 26 platforms I can work out from. So we've got a shop selling cigarettes, food. One thing I have noticed about China is that no one smokes vapes. So maybe they just export them to the rest of the world and don't do it themselves, which is a good Oh, I've run into Rebecca Wilde. Who's this stranger walking around? Drinking water. Okay. Let's have a bit of a look. Yeah, drinking water station. So if you've got your own bottle, you can fill her up with cold water, which is a great idea. Let's have a bit more of a look up here. size of this thing is huge, platform 8 and 8A, 8A, 9A, more vending machines, maybe a bit quiet up this end, actually what I'm looking for is to see if I can find our train because the board at the moment, we've got here a bit early because we were in preparation, we didn't want to be late and we didn't know how long peak hour traffic would take us to get out of the city centre up here to the northern train station so yeah so we're actually about an hour and a half early so just like waiting for a plane i guess at the airport but we're at this massive train station instead uh we've got second class tickets to beijing it takes three and a half hours it's about 650 kilometers if i remember correctly And it cost about $72 Australian, plus a booking fee with trip.com. You can book all your China tickets on trip.com. They're a really good option. I'll leave a link in the description. What have we got here? Three squirrels. I love the name of things in China. Vending machines everywhere. What have we got up here? Convenient shopping. 
Always got a Singtao shop no matter where you go. Wonder if you can buy a brew for the trip. Yeah, you can. Singtao. Uh, what do we got here? Water, convenience store. Maybe like a little supermarket, really. And here, I'm not quite sure, looks like it's a little library of some description. It's a leisure waiting area, it says. So that's interesting. G2094, I don't think that's us. Okay, so we've reached the other end here. Accessible elevator, business class lounge. It's much like an airport, if you've got business class tickets, you can go check into the lounge. Let's see, is this the other entry? Yeah, it must be entries at both ends, depending on which direction you're coming from. Let's have a bit of a look over the top here. See what we can see. Plenty of people coming in. So let's have a look on the other side. Obviously all the center of the station is seating. Some even has leather seats with massages in it by the looks of it. Once again, this side is just full of convenient shopping. Still haven't spotted our train on any of these boards yet. Must be coming up somewhere. While on the other side there seem to be shops on the outside, on this side they seem to be all facing inwards, so. But lots and lots of people sitting and waiting. G155, maybe that's ours. G206 at 10.30 Is our train number G206 at 10.30 It's not listed anywhere yet So nothing on the board So we'll just continue to wander through See what's around Let's maybe move over to the middle section in a minute G206 is not there Still Oh, well, I'm sure our train will come up somewhere. We have tickets. What do we got here? Hub in. Gets emptier the further you get down this way. But I love these metal roofing designs. The uh, architecture of these buildings is simple but effective. What have we got here? The best store. What's it selling? Just drinks and snacks for the train. What have we got here? Still not our train on that one. Where can I find my family? They're over there. Boiled water too, so if you bring noodles, so you've got hot cups of water that you can get, which is really handy. Looks like this shop is closed. Looks like upstairs here we've got Starbucks. Nope, still not on that one. What about this one? Nope, oh, not on that one. Okay, so I've got 14 gates here. Okay, back to where we started. So let's take a bit of a stroll 
straight down the center of this terminal. So lots of restrooms around, uh, banks, business travel service center. Actually, business travel is the highest class of travel on these trains, higher than first class. There's a white rabbit lolly shop over here that my daughter highly recommended. So here's an overview of the station. So yeah, so apparently the white rabbit is the go, she says. Lots and lots and lots of lollies. Hi. Not so friendly, but that's okay. What we got here? Oh, some sort of dried barbecued meat. Look out, we got some we got some foreigners here that I know. More lollies here, up the middle. But plenty and plenty of seating. Uh, just trying to remember back to the last time we went from one of these stations in 2019 and it was a lot busier than this. I wouldn't say it was bigger, but it was a lot harder to get seating. So maybe Wednesday morning is a quiet time for departure. So. That's good. Now we've got another Singtao shop because we couldn't possibly leave Qingdao without a Singtao. So if you want to jump in and grab some last minute brews before you leave. That would be fine. Diplomat selling a bit of luggage just in case you need some. I must admit I like a good bit of luggage, so. But I think I've got enough luggage to load on the Air China flight on Saturday night as it is without getting any more. Okay, so that's basically it. Back to front, plenty of boards, plenty of shops. Plenty of toilets and amenities here, so really good station to come and depart from. Because you can go from Qingdao North or you can just go from Qingdao Central. So off to Beijing shortly. Okay, here we are, we're boarding. So it's much like a uh, airport terminal. You line up, show your ticket, down you go, find your carriage, which is carriage 13 for us today. And seat numbers to A, B, C, D and E. Because we've got an E ticket, we'll have to show our passport when we get up here instead. Talking to me. Well, I know. I could have been. Thank you. Okay, passport scanned. Now we're through the gates. Thank you. Let's watch these other pookie bears come through. in an orderly manner, down the escalator, 
Then we go, the fam are behind me, and the fam was in front of me. No, the real fam that live in Australia are behind me. Okay, we're looking for carriage number 13. There'll be numbers on the platform, so we line up at the right place at the right time. Okay, so we found number 13. This is the line for our train. And we're just waiting for it to arrive now so we can board. Okay, we better go get in line. 